Good afternoon. I, I forget, it's like May 25th, and we're out inland sea. Uh, we've been out camping. We were camping last night, uh, members of the Catter Four Wheelers Group. Behind me is my uh, vehicle, it's a 2015 FJ Cruiser. If you want to take a minute, I'll, I'll give you an idea what uh, the setup is on this vehicle. I bought this vehicle from another club member back in January, so there was already a lot of things done, but I've done a few things and I have a few more things I hope to do. So if I was to start giving you a, a walk around, I don't, I don't really know the levels of FJs. This one, it doesn't have leather seats or anything. I don't know if FJs come that way, but it, it seems nice enough. The previous owner put a snorkel on it. You know, it seems to do a trick. It's got the uh, air intake up above the dust uh, and it seems to work okay. Uh, underneath, it's got a um, old man Emu uh, BP-51 shocks, coilover shocks, reservoir system, and that's uh, all four corners. That lifted the car about two inches. Again, the previous owner did that. There's three inch wheel spacers, inch and a half on each side to get the wheels out. I put a set of tires on here uh, a couple months ago. I went oversize a bit. These are uh, 285, 70, 17, so that's two sizes over stock. There's a set of a custom grill in here with a set of rigid industry lights, which works very nice. Underneath is a uh, TD, TDR skid plate that the previous owner put in. Um, I've crunched it a few times and it's already bent up, so I'm, it's come in useful. Uh, recently I put a roof rack on. This is a uh, front runner roof rack. It works spectacularly well. Um, I've got a few things tied to it, my flag pole and I, uh, a few other things. I'm not sure where I'm going with the roof rack, but uh, I really enjoy having it. There's not a lot of room in the car, so that part's really nice. So walk around the back here a little bit. Uh, there's just a, the factory exhaust on it. These are factory wheels. All the other lights are factory. There's a trailer hitch was put on. In the back, ah, uh, well the previous owner, there's a, a storage cage here. There's a gear rack or d pet divider there. That, that is lovely. I love having that to keep stuff back here. Uh, there's a rack here for holding. This is a um, ARB twin cylinder compressor with a air reservoir on it. So it, it works really nice. That's uh, something I, I believe the previous owner had one, but I had to go buy my own. And a nice touch, I had this set of drawers made and it helps with storage a lot. So just some of the stuff you need, the recovery gear and just different things. They did a nice job on it. I like the fact that they're self-closing. Nothing's really fastened down solid. I'll, I'll tie it down. There's hooks, I can tie it down, keep it tied down. The previous owner had put a set of bags on here and this folds down to be a, a, a table if you want. It's not really something I've used that way, but I do like having the bags. The shovel came from the previous owner. Inside the car, there's a GoPro mount. Uh, we've got a RAM holder for, the, for the, um, the phone. That seems to work well. I recently put a uh, building radio system, 65 watt radio system, and it really uh, makes a big difference over the uh, handhelds. Other than that, the power plant, transmission, everything is, is stock on it, as far as I know. Just been, just been doing some maintenance on it, trying to keep it going. It's a lot of fun.